Hi, this is Involve in Innovation YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see inheritance with real world examples in Java. The real world example which we are going to take is television inheritance. Inheritance is the core concept of object oriented programming language. Inheritance is the way or mechanism in Java by which one class is allowed to inherit the states and behaviors of other class. For example, we already have a television class. We want to build another type of television which has DVD player attached with it. Now for this new class, we want all the variables and methods of the television class. In addition to that, we need some more methods and variables to support the DVD functionality. To achieve this, we will create a class DVD player television by simply extending the television class. In the new class, we can add the variables and methods supporting the DVD functionality. This newly created class has all the functionality of the television class. Here the television is the super class also called as the parent class. And the DVD player television is the subclass also called as child class. This is inheritance. Inheritance increases the code reusability which is very important when you are writing a very long code or when you are writing code for enterprise. In the inherited subclass, we can even overwrite some of the functionality already available in the television. Here in the television class, it uses analog circular dial for channel tuning. We can override this channel tuning to button type in the subclass. This is called as method overriding in Java. We will be seeing more about this in polymorphism. First, we will create new class named DVD player television extending television class. Extends is the keyword to extend the class. Then we will write a constructor and in the constructor we need to point to the parent class constructor. We can do that by using keyword super followed by the parent class constructor parameters. Here we are passing width, height and screen size. Next we will override the channel tuning method. The channel tuning must have same method name and same parameter list like what we have in the parent class. Here the at override annotation is not mandatory. It is just to make sure we are overriding the parent method. It is just a check. Next we will create a new method to support DVD functionality. The method is play DVD. Inside the new method we will just print the text play DVD with sysout. Now we will create an instance of DVD player television with the new keyword. And by calling the DVD player televisions constructor, now the control will go to the DVD player television constructor and it will go to the parent class televisions constructor and the new object will be created. Now we will call the power switch function with this DVD player television object. This will invoke power switch function in the parent class. Next we will call the channel tuning function with this DVD player television object. Since we overridden the channel tuning function of the television class in the DVD player television class, this will invoke the channel tuning function in the DVD player television class. Now we call the play DVD function with this DVD player television object. This invokes the play DVD method in the DVD player television class. Java supports three types of inheritance. They are simple inheritance, multi-level inheritance, hierarchical inheritance. Java doesn't support multiple inheritance in the class, but this can be achieved using the interface. To know more about the inheritance, refer to my video tutorial on inheritance, the link of which I gave in the description. Thanks for watching this video. If you find this video useful, please subscribe to this channel and share to your friends. For more technical videos and videos on artificial intelligence, cryptocurrencies, internet of things and Java concepts and programming interview questions, please subscribe to this channel. Please leave your queries and the comments in the comment section.